Today we have two new fall limited edition guitars from Taylor to show you. A 514 CE and a 512 CE 12 fret with a beautiful combination of cedar and koa wood. So stick around, we'll tell you all about it. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. Before we go any further, I want to share some exciting news with you. If you've been paying attention to this channel, you might know this already, but Alamo Music Center is celebrating 90 years of business. That's right, we started in 1929. 2019 marks 90 years, and to celebrate, we have a new t-shirt that features the front store design of our historic downtown San Antonio store. So if you are interested in one of these, you can go to our website, alamomusic.com, or I'll put a link to our Teespring store, and you can order them from there as well. They'll ship worldwide, and you can represent the oldest music store in Texas, no matter where you happen to be. So pretty exciting news. We're excited about the shirts, and I just wanted to share that with you. Now, let's talk about the guitars that we're looking at today. These are fall limited editions from Taylor, and we love fall limiteds. If you haven't already seen, we recently did a video on the 814 CE Sassafras, which is also a fall limited for this year. The limiteds that Taylor does often represent huge value, because if you try to replicate one of these guitars by going through their custom program, you would pay a lot more for the same guitar just by nature of going through and having a custom guitar built. So it's always a treat when we're able to see these guitars come out with unique options, particularly with a combination of tone woods that we don't often get to see, and really at this price. So what we're looking at today are 500 series guitars featuring Cedar and Koa. Trying to get Koa at a good price point uh, from any manufacturer is often difficult, um, but it's nice when Taylor comes out with a limited like this. And I'll say this at the onset, if you've watched our video channel for any amount of time, a few years ago, they did a pair like this in the 700 series, and I was smitten, and I really, really wanted to own one of those guitars because I love the combination of Koa and Cedar. Uh, I have a family member that owns an older K14C, which is a combination of Koa and Cedar from Taylor, and I just think it's a fantastic tone wood pairing. Um, I didn't get one of those 700 series guitars, and so I am equally tempted by these. So if you're interested, please buy them and just remove the temptation from me. Anyways, enough of that. Let's talk about what these guitars are and why you should be interested in them. So the first one we're gonna talk about is this little guy. This is the 512 CE 12 fret. Now it is a grand concert body, the smallest full size body that Taylor makes in a 12 fret body. If you don't know what that means, that means that the neck joins the body at the 12th fret instead of the 14th fret. It moves the position of the bridge down into the center of the top, changing some of the dynamics of how the guitar responds. And we'll talk a little bit about that. But let's talk about Cedar and Koa first of all, and how it responds in both of these body shapes. This is really a heavenly pairing when it comes to tone woods. Cedar has this beautiful response to a light touch. It sounds like played in spruce with this wonderful roundness to each note and these complex overtones that it creates. If you are a fingerstyle player or someone that has a light touch, you'll be rewarded with the cedar top because you do not have to put a lot of energy into it to get a lot of energy out of it. And it really will bring out a lot of nuance in whatever tone what it's paired with. When you pair it with beautiful koa like this, which is done in this beautiful edge burst, then you get a lot of that warm mid-range that koa is known for and a beautiful bell-like chime when it's paired with cedar that brings this roundness to all of those treble notes that when you're playing fingerstyle music, you particularly want to hear. Now, in a 12 fret grand concert body, grand concert's always going to reply, uh, respond very quickly. Um, so when you put a cedar top on it, even more so. By moving the position of the bridge down into the middle of the top, it really opens it up and allows it to kind of 
box above its weight class, so to speak. Also, it has a shorter scale than a typical Taylor guitar would. It's 24 and 3 quarters inch. So what that means is that the strings have a little bit of a slinkier feel to them, and all the frets are a little bit closer together. So if you have those chords that you kind of stretch in order to get, you'll find it easier to achieve on this guitar. Now, like most Taylor 12 frets, it has a slotted head stock up at the top. And uh, like the 500 series, it's done in the typical appointments, which means the whole body and the neck is done with a beautiful uh, faux tortoiseshell binding. The rosette also has this ivory tortoiseshell. And then the uh, ebony fingerboard is graced by the century inlay done in ivory as well. It's really a beautiful guitar and it's a very comfortable uh, guitar to play because of its size and its response to you. Now, this is joined in the lineup by this guy. It's Bigger Brother. Let's switch these out. This is the 514 CE. Now, all of the appointments are going to be the same with the exception of the uh, scale, the neck joint, and of course the body shape. A Grand Auditorium is just as wide and deep as a Dreadnought, but with a tighter waist. So this is going to give you a lot more volume, a lot more power than the Grand Concert's able to give. It's really just a more versatile instrument. It's the typical 25 and a half inch scale that Taylor has uh, with a 14 fret to the body neck. So this is going to allow you to push the guitar a little bit more, have a little bit more volume, be able to flat pick it to a greater extent than the Grand Concert but the same tonal characteristics apply. So you have this beautiful sparkle, um, the, these wonderful overtones, and an immediacy of response with a warm mid-range that the Cedar and Koa bring out as a combination. So, enough talking. Let's play them both for you so you can hear with your own ears what they sound like.
So there you have it, Taylor Fall Limited Edition Guitars for 2019, the 514 CE in Cedar and Koa and the 512 CE 12 fret in Cedar and Koa, both done in this beautiful edge burst. Um, they are limited edition guitars. Hopefully you could hear that uh, bell-like chime, that warm mid-range that's available, and the dynamic articulation that you're able to get with a light touch with both of these guitars. Now, as the name implies, they are limited, and just like with every limited guitar review that we ever do, I want to just caution you if you find this video you know, a few months they're probably all gone because once they're gone they're gone we generally cannot get our hands on any more so if you are interested or you have more questions about this guitar follow the link below in the description that'll take you right to the page on our website for both models you can read all of the information and specs on there and feel free to reach out to us whether it's online coming in or giving us a call we'd love to answer any questions that you have now at the end of the day regardless of whether it's a limited edition or standard model, regardless of the manufacturer or the price it is. The best thing about a guitar is when you're making music on it, and the best guitar in the world is the one that you're making music on right now. So we wanna ensure that you do that. Stay tuned to this channel. We're gonna to try to give you all the tips, the guidance on models, and uh, inspiration as we can to help you continue to make music. So if you're new here, stick around. Subscribe, turn on notifications, like our videos, comment below, and I'll see you next time. Hey, thanks so much for watching. We hope you are enjoying our channel. You might be interested to know that Alamo Music has two more YouTube channels. One for piano and keyboard enthusiasts, and the other 
our Alamo Music Audio Lab channel that focuses on synthesizers, drum machines, and other things with Chris Klein. So if you're interested in checking those out down in the bottom of the description, I have links to both of those channels. We hope to see you there as well.